As I look around here, I just want to make a few short comments, very quick, about the hats. This is the hat I wore at the Kerry blockade in January, just near Bow Desert. It got run over by the trucks of Arrow Energy. It's a bit battered and bruised, but by geez, it's stronger. And it's going everywhere with me in the Coal Seed Gas Campaign. I want to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of this land on which we gather today. I honour the elders past and present who've guided their communities in nurturing and caring for their country. I also pay my respects to any Aboriginal people here today. I particularly want to thank Uncle Reg, Uncle Reg King, for the very warm welcome to country and for his strong stand against coal seam gas mining. The, the notion of welcome to country is particularly significant in relation to today's events and to our campaign against coal seam gas in general. It gives us what might, in the context of coal seam gas exploration, be described as a social licence. The companies who want to explore for and extract coal seam gas may get their exploration licences and their production licences from the state government, but they don't undertake their operations in Macquarie Street. They operate in local communities. And un without that social licence, they're on shaky ground. And what... Without that social licence, they are on very shaky ground indeed. Today's events and the activities leading up to them send a very clear and strong message to the companies and to the government that they do not have a social licence to operate here. <laughs> Dictionary.com defines celebration as a commemoration of occasion or achievement. Today certainly marks an occasion and an achievement worth celebrating and well done to the local communities. As a member of both the Lock the Gate Alliance Management Committee and the Campaign Strategy Team, I'm very pleased to be here today to join with the communities of the Tunnable Creek, Terrania and Kirong Valleys and the Channon to celebrate the implementation of the CSG Free Community Strategy and the presentation of the road declarations to Lismore Mayor Jenny Dow. As a resident of the Northern Rivers, I'm also pleased to see it won't stop here, but that this event also marks the launch of the initiative as a regional campaign. The CSG Free Communities Initiative is a very powerful strategy that complements other aspects of our campaign that are more oppositional or in your face, such as blockades, to stop CSG. There is more than enough space and need for both sorts of strategies. This strategy draws its power and strength from the fact that it is a bubble up strategy, not a trickle down one. It comes from the community. It's positive in its direction and in its implementation. It gives communities an opportunity to take back to themselves the moral authority to determine what is appropriate in terms of economic and industrial activity in their community. It empowers local communities to actively determine their futures. I cannot overstate the power of this strategy based as it is on listening to and responding to local communities and giving them a real voice in determining their futures. We may not have legislative power as a local community, but this initiative reasserts in a very positive way the moral authority of this local community. Governments ignore this message at their peril. Local MPs ignore the voice of their local communities and voters at their peril. Local councils, with a small number of exceptions, have been strong supporters of the campaign against coal seam gas, and Lismore City Council is certainly not one of those exceptions. It's great to see Jenny Dow, Mayor of Lismore, here today to share this event with the local community and accept the road declarations on behalf of the council. 
Lismore City Council has taken a strong stand alongside its community in relation to coal seam gas and I congratulate her and her council colleagues for taking that stand. <laughs> Lismore City Council and with Simon's announcement that it's decided not proposed, it's putting the question to local voters at the elections in September about whether they want coal seam gas in the Lismore Council area. There are no points to be awarded for guessing which way I would suggest you vote. Well done and thank you Jenny. Please pass on my thanks to your fellow councillors. State, State Member for Lismore Thomas George should take note of today's events. Thomas George should take note of today's events and start to support his local constituents. Yes. Janelle Saffin, Federal Member for Page, should take heart from today and draw strength in her continued stand against coal seam gas, knowing that she has the support of the local communities she represents. Drew Hutton, who is president of Lock the Gate Alliance, characterises our campaign as the most significant, broadly based social movement of our times. The CSG Free Community Initiatives bridges the divide between the rhetoric and the reality of that characterisation of the campaign. It directly engages local communities in looking to their future and the welfare and wellbeing of future generations, and that's what it's all about. On behalf of the Lock the Gate Alliance, I congratulate the initiators and drivers of this strategy. I congratulate the local community members who've given it legs. And I congratulate all the people in the local community and the nearby communities who are lending it their support by filling out surveys, signing the pledge and being here to present their road declaration to the Mayor. I'm pleased to officially launch the CSG Free Northern Rivers Regional Initiative. Lock the Gate. Lock the road, lock the community.